Yeah, so I'm Jared Sandler. I'm playing the President's Junior Aid in Pixels. And yeah, uh, 80s video games attacking Earth. The president needs a right hand man. And that was me. So you have no relation to Addison? He's actually my uncle, yes. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. what's it like to work with your uncle? It's incredible. I've learned so much from him. I have the best time. It's everyone has so much fun on set. And yeah, I absolutely love the experience. Is this the first time you've worked on one of his projects? I'm presuming not. Um, I've done a few. Uh, started in Grown Ups 2 and then can been keep working my way up and doing other projects besides Adam's stuff as well. So yeah, it's just slowly keep, I'm keeping going. I'm speaking about working with Chris, the director. He's great. The nicest guy, always relaxed, which is really nice. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, he went to NYU. I mean, I'm USC, but it was really cool working with him. Uh, yeah, the experience was great. His family's great, and we had an awesome time. Can you speak about how the special effects were executed? What was that like? Yeah, that was cool. I mean, it was. It's amazing to see the movie and see how real it looks, and just how incredible everything is. So, like, acting in it, you you knew that like you knew what it was going to be so it wasn't challenging to know how awesome and insane and how everything was going to happen so i didn't find it too challenging so is it more like if there was like a pac-man in the air did they be like okay the pac-man's going to be there yeah there are a couple different eye lines like that and exactly like you were saying but yeah for the most part just we went off on where it was going to be and it yeah, it didn't find any trouble. Everyone seemed to have a great time doing it. And what's coming up next for you? Uh, after this, I'm also in a Western called Ridiculous Six. Uh, yeah, so besides that, um, some other shows are coming out way down the line, but I'm just really excited to see Pixels and yeah, see how it does. And I'm just, I'm excited for everyone to see the movie. So. Thank you so much, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I play Raj, uh, he's an Indian teenager who gets kidnapped or pixelated by the aliens while proposing to his girlfriend. Uh, and then Adam Sandler and his uh, crew, I guess, with Kevin James, Josh Gad, and uh, Peter Dinklage come out and try to save us. So speak about working with those three excellent actors. Whew, that's a, that, I, need, like, I need to write an essay for you because it was such an amazing and surreal experience. Uh, I learned so much uh, within in the three, four weeks that I filmed with them, all these, you know, act, about acting, about comedy, and about how to be a good person on set, you know. Not, they were so down to earth that they brought me back to the reason I wanted to act in the first place, and it was just, it was just a really good experience. Was, I mean, words can't explain it, to be honest. And speak about working with Chris Columbus. Oh, wow. Christopher Columbus. I, I mean, I watched Home Alone 1 and 2, Baby's Day Out, Harry Potter. He's a legend. And, and the dude, uh, to even think that, you know, I deserve a spot in this movie was so humbling in that regard. And then he's so helpful. He's such a, I mean, he's great with VFX, and, but he's such an actor's director. You know what I mean? He works with you. He listens to you. He encourages you. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just amazing. Yeah. Uh, I was in a TV show called Skins for MTV. I played one of the leads there, and then after Skins didn't get picked up, um, you know, I started acting, started auditioning, and eventually I landed here. So I guess Skins was my first big break, but I've been acting since I was 13 in theater and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, right now, nothing. But if you have a project in mind, give it, <laughs> let me know. But I mean, I'm, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. But uh, I've been auditioning. I'm in the running for a couple of stuff. But let's hope for the best. I can't say too much. So yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. This is a great opportunity. This is great, great experience for me. This is so huge, and so many people are here, and it's, it's incredible, really. So tell me a little bit about the role you play. So I play uh, young Sam Brenner, which is the younger version of Adam Sandler. So I play him in 1982, and I think I was 13 in the film, and I'm, uh, I'm a loser. But uh, as the film goes on, I discover video games. I turn out to be very, very talented at these games. So like one of the best in the world, so I go to the championships and we play the games. And so that's how that turns out for my character. You should probably see the movie to see the rest of the details. I don't want to ruin anything. And 
Speak about the games that you had to play in the film, and did you actually play them in real life to lear and learn about them? You know, on the set, I got an opportunity to play the games a lot, which was really fun for me. They were everywhere, because a lot of the sets that I was on included a lot of the, the, the classic arcade games. So I was able on my breaks to play them. I was able to play them when we were filming, because my character plays them. And it was they're great games. They're really great games. So I hope a lot of kids get into it now, thanks to this movie. Oh, uh, let's see. Donkey Kong, Centipede, Galaga, Pac-Man. There's a whole lot of them. Qbert. Qbert's a great one. Um, Asteroids. There's a lot of them. So they're great games. All of them. They're really they're fun to play. They're really fun to play. I hope I hope the kids give them a shot. And, and you're a pretty young guy. What are your favorite games to play these days? Yes, I'm 14, and I'd say my favorite game this like these days like. My favorite, there are Xbox games and whatnot, but I'd say that my favorite arcade game is definitely Donkey Kong because it's just so fun to play. I hope people try it out because it's tough to explain how fun these games can actually be, but they're really a great experience, great time to play. So. And what's coming up next for you? Uh, for me personally, I hope to be working on some stuff soon, but I did a Nickelodeon thing uh, a week or two ago, so that's going to be coming up next for me, but that's not going to be for a while. But hopefully I'll do some more work and I'll have some more stuff coming out in the near future. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I play Kevin James' younger child. I play him in 1982. So you're the younger version? I'm the younger version of Kevin James, yes. World of video games. It was amazing. It was a great experience. I got to play this one and that one, and then it was just, it was just so much fun. Like, my, like I got to play all these different games. I got to play Pac-Man and Galaga and everything, and it was just so much fun. What was it like working with Chris? Christopher Columbus. He's amazingly talented. He's one of my favorite directors because one of my favorite movies of all times is Miss Doubtfire, directed by him and uh, Rob Williams. May he rest in peace. Was an amazing actor. So he was just like, he's just so funny. Like he gets you. He makes jokes and everything and it's just so much fun and what's next for you uh, hopefully something big I mean I've really been I've really been booked because um, I'm I'm going into high school now so I had high school audition and everything and successfully I got it to PPAS in the city a couple blocks away first choice thank God so really hopefully something comes next well, thank you so much. Congratulations. no problem <laughs> thank you so I play the younger version of Peter Dinklage's character so this is when I uh, Eddie Plant was in his prime and he was winning video game competitions and 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 uh, getting all the ladies. <laughs> so that's that's my that's my character, yeah. And and tell me, what was it like working with the director, Chris? Oh my God, he is the the best. Uh, he was so he was patient with us and he was also very he was very instructive and he knew exactly what he wanted. And so it was it was amazing working with him. Yeah, it was such a pleasure. Tell me some of the video games you had to learn for the role. Okay, so actually, the, yeah, the first days that we came here was I had to practice Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and um, and uh, Centipede, and I focused mainly on pa Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, but uh, yeah, it's that that's kind of the games that we were supposed to play. Did you get to meet Peter? Oh yeah, I actually uh, I got to see see him act act in a couple. As, as Eddie Plant for a, a couple of days to get his mannerisms since I could perfect the younger version of Eddie Plant, which was awesome. Um, speak about bonding with him. Uh, it, it, was, it was cool. It was, it was a bit nervous me, meeting him for the first time. Uh, actually, the first time I ever actually like, talked to him was he sat behind me in a director's chair and I looked back and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> when he first spoke to me. So, uh, but eventually he, we became Good buds. It's he's an awesome guy and a pleasure to work with. Are you a big Game of Thrones fan? I'm I'm not the biggest fan, but uh, it's I know I know about it. I I, I watched him as a Tyrion, and he does a tr tremendous job, a, f a fabulous job. So how did you get your start in acting? Um, I I did an acting competition called AMTC, uh, where I won the male act male grand overall male actor award and. Then I kind of went from there and got hooked up with agents and eventually got got some jobs and this is actually my first movie job so I'm super excited. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about the role you play. I play one of the Navy SEALs, um, so I had to bring uh, the muscle to the to the role. Um, and it's very fun playing against guys like Josh Gad and Adam Sandler who are bringing the comedic role and then we're the tough guys. So it was a nice, it was a nice clash of talents. Um, when I read the script I was excited because I knew all these video games from playing them in the 80s. So I actually knew these characters. So uh, I was excited to be a part and the star-studded cast was just, it was just phenomenal to be a part of this cast for sure. Speaking about working with Adam and Josh, two very funny guys. Extremely. Josh in between sets and Adam in between, in between the takes. Where they come up with the stuff, it's just, it's unscripted, it's off the cuff. And there's going to be some outtakes, I'm sure, from this movie uh, that were phenomenal. There's been moments that we just, we couldn't, we couldn't shoot anymore. We're just busting guts. Okay, guys, take a line, take a break. And it was, it was, it was unbelievable. It was fantastic. And what's coming up next, next that you'd like to share? Uh, I have a movie coming called The Masked Saint. It's like a pro wrestling movie. It's actually coming out in January where I play the lead antagonist, The Reaper. He's kind of a clash between The Undertaker and Sting. Um, so that'll be out on, I think, January 8th. That'll be my next feature film. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I appreciate the interview. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Thank you.